Hi! Welcome back to Galaxy 2. I have, uh, JT with me this time. Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, I believe this is your, uh, debut on this channel. You've been in a pretty good number of videos on my, uh, other channel I recently. Just, I just love you so much, I can't get enough of you. And I love you monetizing too, our friendship into streams of all sorts. I, I wish I was making money from this. <laughs> um, but speaking of which, we should do another stream together sometime. It's been a little while. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not really showing too many of the failures in this. Uh, in these ones, but that one was stupid, so I have left it in. I, uh... uh... This one is called, like, Icy... Octo Army Icy Rainbow Romp is what this star is called. That's great. Yeah, there's lots of romps in this game. There's a lot of missions that have the word romp in them, which is really good. It's like, I feel like romp is also like sort of a like a 50s B-movie, like beach, like title. Romp. Like, you, yeah. you, go, you go have a romp and you're going to be popping some uh, uh, bikinis open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This... Well, that's, uh, you do more of popping bikinis in Mario Odyssey than in <laughs> Galaxy. You said this is Galaxy 2? I haven't played this yes. one. Yes. Oh, nice. It's good. Um, it's obviously extremely similar to the first game. It, uh, doesn't continue the storyline or anything. It pretty much just resets and does it differently. Although, uh, Rosalina does appear in this as, like, a person that Mario is presumably familiar with. Yeah, for sure. They're so, good friends. Yeah, they're pals. Um, I wonder when the... I don't forget her name, but the lady from Odyssey, I wonder when she's gonna be in, like, Smash Brothers or Mario Kart. Oh, the the mayor? Yeah, the, the AOC-style character? Yeah, the... the <laughs> yeah, the... The sexy mayor GF that you have. Um, so anyway, if I haven't explained to you yet what this is, um, I've beaten the main game, and now I am just doing all of the other stuff. All about and, that uh, hustle? Yeah, doing all the prankster comets, because th my plan is because i did mario sunshine and my plan is to do all of the 3d console mario games that much is i do plan on doing um my original plan was to do 100 percent for all of them that was excellent but um i may not do that for odyssey because it's a lot of shit and i really don't know how much fun it would be to watch oh yeah that at sounds, a certain point just like e like even playing through it at a certain point that's so much stuff to do they just jam yeah and most it of it full. is just like walking around and yeah or finding know. more di like different types of uh objects just gathering yeah. things but yeah, scratch is just... a nice itch in your brain for sure oh yeah yeah but I just think after a while it'd be kind of diminishing returns if I, you know, I beat Bowser and then there's just like 30 videos of getting <laughs> a bunch of bullshit. So, uh, but other than that, I'll, you know, I am planning on getting all 242 of these motherfuckers in this game. So, yeah. Well, in the main game it's only going to be 121 and then the rest of them are green stars. Which, I may take a break from this game between this and doing the green stars, because uh, I've been LPing this game for a minute. That was very close. Who is, uh, okay, do you have a favorite Mario character? Hmm. Um, maybe Wario? Okay, that's a good, that matches your energy well. I have actually have been told exactly that before, which is funny. <laughs> um, 
Because for one thing, I'm not fat, and I don't really do that many crimes. <laughs> um, not too many. But, uh, yeah, I like Wario. I just think he's funny, and I usually play as him in Mario Kart. He's my, like, normal character for that. Um, yeah, I just like that he's, like, you know, like, the anti-Mario. Um... <laughs> that, so, yeah. that, that's a strong aspect of his appeal. Just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I like his games, like the Wario Land games and WarioWare and stuff. Like, he has just really weird... They're... His games are fun. I like how I'm saying his, like he made them. Um, it's part of his filmography. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he really um, worked hard on those. He did. Um... I like those games because they are like Mario games, but they're just a little twisted, you know? Yeah, no. He's really the Joker of the Mario world. He really is, yes. He's yeah. Joker-fied uh, Wario. I like kind of the the more obscure... Or I mean, not more obscure, but the, the weird rogues gallery of uh, oh, yeah? the Mario characters. Like uh, Monty Mole... Uh, Birdo, oh, yeah. those. Uh, oh, Birdo is great. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, in terms of the main cast, I always. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess he's kind of he does his own thing sometimes, but still one of the gang. Donkey Kong, yeah. love that oh, guy's yeah. energy. I guess he would count as a Mario character, in which case he would be uh, a close second to Wario for my favorite. Um, because I do love that guy. Being a monkey gives him a huge advantage oh, exactly. in the tally off the bat. Because, you know, I, ape together strong. I have to support my <laughs> my ape brethren. Um, yeah, I'd really like to do a Donkey Kong game. I did Donkey Kong Country a while back, and I'd like to get the Donkey Kong game for the Switch and... Uh, Let's play that game at some point. Yeah, I just got that one. It's pretty good. I've been, uh, I don't know. I've been trying to do too many things recently and just like only <laughs> intermittently gaming, but carving a little bit of time to chill with uh, Donkey Kong, Funky Kong. The whole damn family is nice. Yeah, I've really been trying to, uh, like, find a good balance of time between watching movies, gaming, and reading, because uh, I've said before, both in these videos and I think to you personally, that I, I find it an important endeavor for me intellectually to get good at video games <laughs> so that I can uh, <laughs> think about them better, essentially. No, I, um, I buy it. However you want to... Rationalize to yourself that decision. No, hey man, no, you know, I've I'm, spent, gonna, I'm I'm getting I'm all the Mario stars because this is an intellectual pursuit. Yeah, I'm studying. Okay, <laughs> that's like whenever my mom, uh, like once every month or two, when I'm texting my mom, she'll be like, uh, she'll ask me what you know, projects I have going on, and I'm like, uh, I'm not dying, I don't know, uh, I haven't done anything really, um, and she was like, you should, uh, you know, you should write, cause she knows that I want to do, like, she knows what I want to do and stuff, and yeah. she was like, you should write some, uh, you know, just start writing, like, blogs or whatever to try to get some kind of writing job online or something. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I, like, have ideas of stuff that I would do for that, um, but I, like, whatever, but there's always a really annoying part of my brain that wants to tell her, like, no, you don't get it, like, sitting around and, like, taking two months to read one book is part of my writing process. <laughs> it just takes a really long time. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, I don't know. All but, I mean, that is kind of, tr like, what I it would say as my excuse. And, like, the blog post writing stuff is just, there are, like, 15 people in New York City who just have parents that are, like, on Wall Street and are richer yeah, than God like, that have that market cornered. 
Yeah, like, I don't know. You'd and have to do also, a substack style thing. Yeah, I'd have to do something like that, or like a Patreon that like three people would uh, do. I don't know. It's it's very hard to break into the getting paid to write things racket, and that is unfortunately what I have uh, wagered my entire life on. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'll have to figure something out. I mean, I would like to write, you know, sort of whatever criticism analysis type of stuff. Uh, and the first step is playing uh, through Mario and getting all the stars. You got to know what to talk yes. about. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, it's all part of the the thing. I just have to play many many video games all the way through, uh, so that I I have authority behind my voice when I uh, write my posts about them. Uh, you know that are designed to uh, get a lot of clicks. Maybe that's the thing I should do. Maybe maybe I'm going about this all wrong, and I'm thinking... Because a, a lot of the thing that, you know, holds me back from uh, trying to do writing stuff seriously, uh, in like, that kind of writing stuff, is like, well, I don't really know if I actually have anything that interesting to say. Like, I don't know if I'm prepared to, like you know, hold myself up as someone that anybody should, like, give a shit about what I have to say about something. Uh, like, I already feel that way with the with the movie reviews sometimes. <laughs> but, I think I've been thinking about it all wrong, and I should just be, like, realistic with what actually would get an audience, and so... I just have to write stuff just like... Just the most base-level you know. commentary, and... Uh, yeah, I just have to be like, actually, Mario Galaxy 2 is bad, and you're bad if you like it. Like, that's what I should write. Ten reasons why this is the sexiest... What are those stars called? The, the like, the, the stars that the are Lumas. people... Yeah, the Lumas. Yeah, the sexiest... Yeah, which Lumas have the biggest <laughs> knockers? Yeah, every Luma... In Mario Galaxy 2 ranked on hotness and why. Yeah. Now I just want to, yeah, I should just write stuff that, like, pisses people off and that generates a whole day of discussion on Twitter that everyone hates and is completely <laughs> fucking pointless. Yeah, like the uh, lady who talked about uh, killing her dog. Yeah, exactly. But the uh, thing that everyone likes is bad, actually, is a really popular genre of... Uh, article now um so i think i need to get in on that or uh like making a very erroneous uh and nauseating like political reading of something for oh sure. yeah absolutely yeah like if i say that like you know Wario is a fascist, but y'all aren't ready to talk about that. Uh, then I think I'd get at least like fifty thousand dollars. Oh yeah, absolutely. Here's uh, why uh, the new Wario Wear game supports anarcho-fascism. Oh my god! If I wrote an article saying that the Wario Wear game is ableist, I would get a million dollars. I think I just need to do that. There is a big thing. Uh, not with WarioWare, but that is becoming a bigger conversation now with uh, with video games and, you know, people being able to play them that's, physically. That's so wild. Like, literally, like, the easiest thing that, like, pretty much, like, mo by and large, most people can do. Just, like, sitting inside with a controller in their hands. Like, obviously, there are people who don't have I mean, I guess that. if you, like, have no fingers yeah, or something. Yeah, but it, I don't know. I don't think they're, like... You got bigger problems at that point than gaming. <laughs> <laughs> like personally, that's true. Personally, I don't think the people who have those types of disabilities are the ones writing the like think pieces about it. Yes. Oh, time trial shit always pisses me off. Yeah, and this is a purple coin time trial. Uh, my, uh, I'm getting a bunch of messages from a, a Discord group because, uh, 
Well, tonight they're watching Die Hard, but last night we were watching Con Air. Oh, nice. I saw you log Con Air. At, at a pretty yeah, like reasonably great. high score. I, uh, um, no, I haven't seen it, but I would probably enjoy it. I think you would. It's pretty fun. And yeah, I think I gave it like four stars, because I had lots of fun watching it. Of course, it, you know, the fun was amplified by the, like, being not sober and watching it with a bunch of friends. Uh, but, I mean, you know, Nicolas Cage with that hair and that accent is gonna be good any, any day, any time. You've seen Face Off, right? Uh, no. Oh I actually my haven't. god. Oh, I really, dude, really want to. like, I mean, especially on, like, the Cage shit, just, like seeing uh like Travolta playing the Nick Cage version of himself just like them like act doing each other's mannerisms and just it being so amazing like the I don't know and of course they bring in like uh um like Cage as Travolta is gonna like of course try and cuck him and like lead up to oh, him yeah. fucking his wife and uh i don't know it's just like a perfect premise and just like <laughs> john woo like explores like all the funny like crazy shit that you want with that like um i don't know it was one of those that was like such a like a big blind spot for me i was very excited that it's like i don't know just as amazing as uh, i was told yeah it's been a big blind spot for me as well so uh, I'm looking forward to watching it. This star is really fucking annoying, uh, because, as you can imagine, moving around on these things, I don't know what you would call them, is a little bit awkward. Um, especially with the shifting, you know, when the gravity shifts, it's just a little weird and... Luckily, they this game is like good, so it mostly keeps it together. But uh, if you uh, if you get a little too gangly, then you can end up slipping and having a bad time. Yeah, no, it's uh, there are a lot of uh, Mario things sometimes that just are m oh, like I devote too much time just because it's like it is obviously at a certain level enjoyable, but then. It's just, well, like, sure. incredibly frustrating, and I've wasted, like, two hours trying to do a task, and I'm like, well, yeah. at this point, I have to finish it. Yeah, every Mario game has about 40 missions that are very annoying. <laughs> um, if you're trying to get literally everything, which I normally try to do because it's fun. It's fun to get the big number. Yeah, no, you're getting the as much bang for your buck then as well. It's not even uh, yeah. like just solely relating to good gaming practices. To just uh, you want to soak good in the deal. Practice. Yeah. <laughs> fair and ethical gaming practices. <laughs> very. Uh, yeah, I'm the fair trade non gamer. Non graceful way of getting up to that star. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I'm trying to, like, think of other gaming things to talk to you about because, uh, one of the reasons I was excited to invite you to do, uh, commentary on an LP is that, you know, you and I have very much had gaming on the brain lately mm -hmm. and been talking about it a lot, um, yeah, and also just because it's another... It's another venue for your, for your voice and our <laughs> thoughts. I the I'm imagining the the picture of what is it Aristotle and Socrates oh, yeah. in the in the big hall. Absolutely. That's what that's us talking that's about. That's what gaming. our commentary on this is feels like to me. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's interesting because only like I don't know. I think during quarantine, like, because it's like I would. I feel like every few years, like, pick up a gaming system and then just, like, be like, why don't I like this? Or, like, uh, um, like, play it for a little bit and get, like, relatively, like, not invested in it. Or just, like, the type of gaming would require too much work and effort. 
And then I just realized that, I don't know, at a certain point, it's like, oh, I just, like, mostly like platformers and, like, things that I don't need to, like, I don't know, I hate, like, fucking story bullshit in games because it's just, that's not what I'm there for. Um, and, yeah, I don't know, it was just, like, Nintendo shit is, like, the best for the, I don't know, for casual gaming. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's always been the most uh, appealing, at, or, like, something... A recent discovery. Yeah. I mean, I've certainly always had a soft spot for platformers. Uh, compared to a lot of, you know, other popular types of games, I, I guess most people would say that they're pretty easy, and a lot of them are, like, made for... I don't even know if made for kids, but just, you know, like, appropriate for kids and families or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I don't know, especially with the Mario games, I mean, I think several of the main series Super Mario games are, you know, up there with some of the best games, period, so, just in terms of, uh, you know, uh, design and enjoyment, uh, I, I just, all, I always love, uh, taking control of, of that little fat man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think for me, it's, like, the simplicity of, like, the game mechanics are, like, key there, because it's, like, um, and then you get to, like, explore, like, pretty intricately designed worlds. I mean, I, even those, like, those are still, like, relatively, like, simple, but, uh, I think the simplicity is good, to, I mean, like, um, I obviously am, like, I'm not a game designer, I've never really attempted to make a game, and i don't know if I ever could if I tried, but um, so I'm not like an expert on the minutia of game design or game design theory, if that's even a thing. Um, but uh, I've um, there's a, a YouTuber I've recently gotten into named uh, Matthew Matosis who does video game reviews and has done very in-depth reviews of all of the main 3D Mario games. And uh, those videos are very, um, like, uh, informative and interesting in making me notice the subtle ways in the way that levels are designed in Mario that the game kind of, like, subtly directs you to, like to, you know, figure out certain things, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, outside of the ways that it directly tells you certain things, uh, like, I, I can't think of a of an, uh, a good example off the top of my head, but I'm sure you know what I mean, where the way that the level is designed sort of yeah. gets your brain working in the way that the game wants you to so that you can be good at the rest of the game. Yeah, exactly. It's like you teaching you how to solve the puzzles without always like being like okay this is explicitly what you have to do um for it and i do think that like i don't know that like uh, it does play into the fact that it's like simple for me it's like i because it's not something that's like ever has any illusion of like oh there's like a big intricate story here there's just more time to just to soak in the vibes and uh, yeah. revel in the gameplay and then just the design as well. I don't know. That's I think that's why I loved Odyssey so much is that it really like took the I think it just takes all of the strengths of Mario and like really runs with them and makes something that like while being like while having the same, like, simplicity and charm of the rest of the games, um, it is, it's something that, like, feels particularly, like, grand. Oh, yeah, there's you know? definitely a huge scale involved to it. I mean, be... Yeah, like, so you don't have to have a huge story, it's really just about, like, the presentation. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Odyssey kicks ass. Uh... And I, but I am hoping to get into other things. Like I have pretty limited exposure to like RPGs, and I don't know if I have ever actually like completed one that wasn't like a Pokemon game. Um, 
And I just, I am aware of certain ones where, like, knowing what I know about their gameplay, as well as their, like, story and atmosphere and everything, um, I just feel like, you know, if I, if I really put in the time and actually played it, I really think that I would enjoy it. Um, but, like you said, a lot of those... It's mostly the time thing, because, you know, it... Especially RPGs, I mean, they... The the good ones typically will take you, you know, like, over, like, 50 hours or 100 hours if you're actually planning to, you know, make substantial progress. Yeah, I agree. And, I mean, at a certain point to me, also, it's just, like, I mean, I think what keeps me from gaming in higher quantities... It's, like, harder to evaluate or quantify, like, what I'm directly, like, getting out of it to some extent. Yeah. Like, um, because with m movies and, like, books, like, already having, like, gone through, like, paid their dues of becoming, like, a respectable art, um, I don't know, it feels more substantial and meaningful, but with, like, a game, it's, like... It's like, oh, I'm just dicking off, or I'm just, like, wasting time. Which I think, like, is yeah. I mean, maybe an unfair, like, way to look at things um, from my perspective. But I also kind of like that, like, the mainstream kind of view of, like, gaming is one that's disreputable. And it's not, like, um, I, I don't know, largely, like, a non- like not regard regarded as like something that could give you a profoundly like artistic or emotional experience i mean I, I think there's some people making that argument but i think when you get to that level or like you invoke that in a medium like i film i think is the biggest comparative point there it's like you get so much trash art of like people like thinking they're doing something like meaningful or significant then like the value you get from someone who's going to make something that is like i don't know just like craft and that's what i think like yeah. what i like about like the mario games is like i don't know if anyone making it would refer to it as like it being their art or anything like silly like that but i think there's like a level of like a craftsmanship there in doing something that's like solely focused on like play and like having a good time and uh like, creating an inventive world that, like, shows you how to do all these things without, like, overtly, like, explaining it. I do think that, like, there's a lot of skill involved in that. But I think... And, I mean, I think you see it to some extent in, like, indie games, not to disparage, like, a whole genre, but I think there are a lot of, like, indie games that, like, four or five people in the art world will play... And, like, have no impact on, like, what people are actually playing. And it's just like, oh, this is, like, an existentialist journey or whatever. <laughs> and it's like, you're trying too hard. It's like... Well, it's also the fact that a lot of the games that, you know, uh, claim to be or, like, have very clear ambitions to be a quote-unquote art game very often uh, just become like interactive movies yeah exactly and it's just like okay well like that like well if you're if you're doing the art film as a game it's just like that's you strip away i think what makes the interactivity of the medium like i don't know that's such an interesting part of it and it's just uh i don't know it's boring then uh to just yeah. basically do an interactive movie I mean, there are very few movies that are, like, have that interactive approach, but, um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, I agree with what you were, uh, saying about video games as art, um, uh, off to a, a really, really good start with this uh, Bowser level, by the way. <laughs> um, I, I am like I have like two opinions about the the video games being art thing. One of them is that I I do think that there is an argument for them, but I don't really think 
I don't really subscribe much to, like, the popular argument for it. Like, I don't agree... I think Roger Ebert is like a, was, like, a little bit onto something, but I think he also is a little wrong when he said that the main thing keeping games from being art is that they have to be a game. Yeah, he's like, usually they have to a lot be... wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I... Like, I can kind of see that, but... The, like, what I mean by I don't think my reason for why I think you could argue that games are, or, like, can be art, um, is that, um, it's kind of like what you said, where I, I don't know if, I guess you could, I could buy someone having, like, a, a, a profound or emotional or, like, artistic response to a video game in the same way that they would a movie. Um, like, I don't think that's outside the realm of possibility. But I think that the artistry in games is in their, like, construction. Because I kind of think that video games, uh, like, like you called it craft or craftsmanship, mm -hmm. and I think that that might be, like, what you might call it instead of art or artistry. Um... But I, I think either term really applies, mostly because video games, like movies, are a, like, combination of arts, you know, yeah. uh, of disciplines, uh, creative uh, works, because, you know, they're the people that do the visual design, there's the music, uh, and then, of course, there's the actual creation of the game mechanics and everything, where... With that, it's kind of a, like, game, uh, like, coders and developers are, it's kind of a mix between an artist and, like, an engineer, essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I think you can, uh, I, I think, you know, talking about, like, artistry in video games, I think the best, the most interesting way to talk about that is to you know, talk about its craft, essentially, and the way that it uses its, um, you know, the, the main interesting thing about video games, which is the interactivity, like, games that, and I don't mean, you know, in the way that something like Heavy Rain, it doesn't have to be super high concept yeah, exactly. in the way that it uses it, it just has to be, like, effective and fun and then my second opinion which i guess doesn't contra like go against my other opinion but is just kind of also a thing i think which is that uh it doesn't really matter whether it's art or not it can still be a, a cool thing and something that you can like celebrate the craft of um i i think that designating it art on the same level as something like a film or a book is kind of arbitrary because I think those forms have pretty much like broken down uh, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I mean it is like the distinction, I mean in a lot of like new media stuff, especially because the actual medium, like with movies, like certainly aren't made on film anymore so it like, I don't know like it depends on like how much you you take stock and drawing lines in the sand like that and it's like if it really yeah. means something to you and you want it like i mean it, it certainly would buy people saying that it is but like it it doesn't matter yeah yeah i mean it, it doesn't need to be uh profound it can just be really uh good yeah um so yeah Damn, I think well, I don't we just solved get on it. To... Yeah, perfect timing. We, we yeah, solved I, the dilemma. Yeah, I don't want to get on to another topic now, because we just uh, took it to the end. That was I don't know if you were watching, but that last little stretch of that uh, <laughs> of that level was really rough. <laughs> <laughs> like, lost Yoshi and was like almost falling off of the little snake bridge. And you did it, brother. That's all that I missed the fucking matter. star uh, at first, so... Yeah, I was just scrambling at the end. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out. Hope Maybe we'll do another one with you, because there's more stars to get. Yeah, it was my pleasure. <laughs>